Jack Cosgrove, the head coach in his 21st season coming up for the Maine Black Bears. Thanks for, for joining us. Great to be here. Thank you. All right. We look at the preseason polls as we do every media day. And this season, uh, Maine picked eighth in the CAA preseason poll. But there's uh, so much to be said for, for what that piece of paper means at this time of year. What are your expectations for the Black Bears this year? Well, as, as every year, we want to compete for the, the conference championship. That's, that's our goal. That's something that has been a, a part of our program since uh, you know, day one. And, uh, you know, that's, that's our goal uh, right now. We have a, a very, very difficult schedule. We know that. But, uh, you know, we've got to prepare ourselves for the great preseason and take all those challenges on. All right. Your quarterback, Marcus Wasileski, came in last year and was the top uh, in many passing categories in the CAA. Speak to his abilities as a quarterback and the rest of the offense for 2013. Well, the best thing I can say uh, about Marcus, uh, and I compliment you on getting the name right. That's Watch right. We had some practice. You did, uh, you did a good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the experience he gained last year, I think, is going to really help him tremendously. I've seen it in his uh, presentation as he walks and carries himself now. You know, quarterback, uh, I don't know you can truly define the position unless you've played the game and, and gone through an 11-12 game schedule like he did last year. You know, when he lined up against Boston College, he was a virgin. And uh, it really was uh, uh, exciting to see him grow, you know, to take not only his skill ability and put up numbers and stats, but also grow in, in, in the communication piece on the field, the decision-making piece on the field, the experience, the, the, the things that he did as, a, as the year went on. We won three of our last four games. His interception and touchdown ratio uh, went way down, seven touchdowns, no interceptions. So those were very, very good signs on Marcus. And it carried over into the offseason. It carried into the weight room, the, the winter program, uh, our spring practices, our summer uh, situation up at Maine now. He's, he's one of the guys out in front uh, just doing a great job of making sure our football team's ready to play when preseason comes around. Tell me about some other players on offense that we should look out for, whether it's a target that he's throwing to or, or handing the football off to. Well, I think we're, we're, everybody knows about Justin Perillo. I know we spoke about him earlier right. being a Delaware guy, and, and Justin has uh, done, you know, kind of gone through that same growth period of Marcus. It got thrust on him two years ago. We lost our two tight ends. Uh, all of a sudden, Justin's in a big game down at James Madison catching 11 passes, and everybody's, where's this guy from? Uh, he's really uh, grown to become a, a key performer on our team, a, a run blocker as well as a tight end who can catch passes for us. So a multiple threat and a guy we need on the field all the time. And that's really been the emphasis with Justin to really uh, the conditioning and the things, the demands, because he can do so much for our offense. And, and, and that said, uh, outside of him, we have two very talented uh, juniors and uh, Damar Altman um, and Artie Williams, guys we have high expectations for. And, and this is the year they need to to really step up and, and contribute to our offense to give us a balance on, on, in a run and pass game because I think we, we won't be able to run the football. Uh, we gotta need to be able to throw it effectively and really keep people you know, kind of on their toes when we're, we're out there running the offense a part of our program. Defensively now, you had a guy that was on pace to have a monster season last year. Michael Cole had seven sacks in just five games. He's now seven sacks away from being Maine's all-time leader in sacks, a number that uh, I'm sure you'll want him to hit this uh, this year. But yeah. what's his status coming into the fall, coming off well, that Well, he's chomping at the bit. He's not full goal as of yet. Uh, we'll, we'll guide him, manage him, and, and uh, bring him along early in preseason. But he'll be full goal probably midway through preseason. Um, he's had a tremendous offseason. Uh, probably the best thing I can say, uh, Mike's one of those guys that had something he truly loved taken away from him and wants it back. Um, he's, his commitment in the weight room, uh, his leadership of our young players was, was tremendous during the spring, but you could just tell he was missing something from his life. And uh, we're anxious to get him back. I can promise you that. Beyond Cole, though, eight starters returned this year for the main defense, so you've got to be excited about what could be uh, for your defensive front. We developed some guys up front when Mike went out. We had to play more people, younger players. Trevor Bates, Mike Kozlikowski got a lot of reps, really uh, showed us they can play at this level, and we expect big things from them. Uh, really excited about our secondary. Uh, you know, we have two great corners, both our starters from last year, Kendall James and Axel Laforia back. We were challenged last year replacing McMillan and Costin. We did so with Clay and Almatine, and they're both back. So we have a veteran secondary, probably as solid a situation as we could ask for on our whole football team. Uh, we're going to put Tre plug Trevor Bates into the linebacker, Mike linebacker position. We've got Troy Eastman and Aaron Aki back. You know, we're very excited about that side of the football. 
All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, thanks for coming down to Baltimore. We'll let you get back to uh, Maine to enjoy those Maine summers now. Thank you very much. All right, that was Jack Cosgrove. Best of luck this season.